Hey guys, in this video, let's call HTTP REST API from our logic app. So what is our requirement? So we want to call GET API which returns JSON response and then we want to pass that JSON response and we want to add that response in SQL DB. So in this logic app, our trigger, it will be recurrence that is a scheduled trigger. Let's say it will run every five minutes. Then it will call that HTTP API and of course that HTTP API will return JSON response. So we will pass that JSON using pass JSON action and then finally we will add that response in our SQL server. So guys if you see this is the API which we want to call and this is free public API and it returns a random joke. And if you see this JSON response, it has four properties that is type, setup, punchline and ID. And we want to read this response and we want to add it in respective columns of our SQL server. So guys, in SQL, I have created this table that is TBL jokes and as of now, there are no records in this table. Okay. And now let's go to Azure portal. So guys, we are in Azure and I have already created this logic app and now we want to add a trigger that is it will be our scheduled trigger. So we'll say recurrence. Let's select it and let's say it runs every five minutes. And now our action will be calling that HTTP API. So I'll say add an action. I'll say HTTP HTTP and now obviously we need to give that URL. So the URL is this one. Let's copy it. And this is going to be our gate method. And basically that's it. And let's collapse. Now guys, when we call this HTTP REST API, of course it will return some response and that is JSON response, right? So let's parse that response. So here I will add an action with I will say parse JSON and you see under data operations we have this parse JSON and guys here we need to provide the JSON schema right so let's copy this JSON and here I will say use sample payload and from this sample payload that json schema will be generated let's say done and here it says content to create schema from so obviously we will be creating the content from the output of this http action right so here let's click on it and here i will say from this action that is http we want to create content from body and let's collapse it and now finally we want to add this record in SQL right so let's click on this add an action and again our action will be SQL see more I'll say insert row see guys as of now I have already created connection for this SQL server for you but for you first you will need to create connection okay now here let's select server name then database as of now i am using one of my old database that is db cells and under that i have created that table which i just showed you and the table is tbl jokes and here let's click on this show all advanced parameters and see we have these four columns in this sql table that is id joke type setup and pun and punchline right so id it will come from see body id then joke type it will come from see body type and then setup again it will come come from that body and finally punchline so 
again we are calling http api it is returning response in json so we are parsing that json and and we are adding this json response in respective columns of sql server so let's collapse let's say save so guys for the first time this logic app must have been executed so let's check in run history yes it shows successful and let and let's cross check in sql server and here let's run this select query again so yes we can see the record okay